Hey guys, Meteor Rebel Chris Tomer here on this Sunday. Let's talk some mountain weather and let's go and check out Utah and also Colorado because we got snow and it is much colder. This is Utah, this is Alta, and they're reporting five inches in the last 24 hours with a storm total of 11 inches. But look at the temps, four and six, six at the base, four at Mid Mountain. Huge improvement. I mean, it was just a few days ago when the temperature was like 40 degrees up there. So a lot colder and now blue skies should be a good day. Let's go up to Wyoming as well while we're at this. I want to check out uh, Jackson Hole. We've had like three straight days of snow accumulation, another seven in the last 24 hours, and it's below zero, six below zero up on top of the summit there at Rendezvous. Good to see the colder air and the snow. Look at this. Boom, in Colorado. This is Winter Park, a foot of new snow in the last 24 hours, and it is much colder. A lot of mountain locations above treeline are below zero in Colorado as we speak, and it's blowing like 30 to 50 mile an hour up there, but looking good at Winter Park. Steamboat also got a foot. Breckenridge, I believe, is reporting four. Vail, four. Uh, Loveland, three or four inches of new snow. Nine up at Aspen and Snowmass. Here's what's left of that. It came in as a cold front, and this is where uh, the cold front is positioned right now. So behind it, much colder air sweeping in, drier air, and we're already seeing skies clearing across parts of Colorado. In fact, in Denver, we had a window, a short window of snow here, even in town, of like one to three inches, and now blue skies um, outside as we speak. All right, let's look at the um, look at the uh, the bullet points. Here's what I'm seeing. When I look at the forecast, so we've got the departing storm in Colorado, then down the road, two storm systems lined up. One, one, and one, two, storm one, and then another one, one, three, one, four, roughly. Those are the dates. Um, looking at the 15 day snow, it's not overwhelming. That's for sure. Uh, Mammoth, about two feet on the way. Man, I, I wish, even with two storms lined up, I, I'm not forecasting that much snow at Vail. Six to eight inches, snow mass more at 12, but Park City, six, seven, eight inches, out to 14. So it's going to be a tough period. Um, these storm systems that slide through are just not that powerful. You know, it, it just doesn't, we're not talking about feet of accumulation at some of these intermountain areas. Here are the best odds of snow. For Colorado, there's the first storm. There's the second storm. Light one, moderate accumulations on two. Utah, first storm, moderate. Second storm, moderate accumulations. Um, interior BC, you've got a stretch here from 1-2 to 1-4, moderate heavy, but at the beginning, it may be rain snow at the base, at the base areas of some of the ski areas as warmer air gets punched in. Um, let me show you briefly. This is the forecast radar. We'll start this up 11 a.m. Mountain Standard, Sunday, December 28th today. Notice, it is now dry across the west. High pressure will be building in for at least a few days until we get to late on the 31st into the 1st. Um, let me move this ahead. Now this animation, I'm going to run this out. There's 5 a.m. Monday, Mountain Standard. This is 5 a.m. Tuesday, December 30th, Mountain Standard. There's 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Wednesday. December 31st. There's 11 a.m. So you see the problem. <laughs> Once high pressure comes in, it's there for like three days straight. And the next storm system will actually come from here out of the southwest and then sweep and sort of overrun a lot of the Intermountain West. A little bit of a wait for that. Um, let's do atmospheric pressure anomalies here. This is uh, the first. Uh, this is 1-1, New Year's Day. Um, there's our high pressure, but here come the drop in the pressures, the lower pressures coming out of the Pacific, and that will sweep across the Intermountain. The big drop in pressure is up here in the Northeast, so with cold and snow up there in the Northeast. Here's period two. This is Sunday, the fourth of the new year. High pressure getting moved out with a weakening ridge and moisture streaming in with this. Uh, general drop in pressures there. So that would be a better pattern. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4. Here's the problem. This is 1, 6. This is not what we want. Massive 
uh, elevation of pressures, rising pressures there with that high there and those warm colors across the inner mountain. The big drop in the pressures are out here across the east. So if this happens, it's warmer and it's drier by the 6th. So there's, a, there's at least a four-day period where we get some storminess and colder air across the inner mountain, but then it's gone, just like that. Um, okay, here's the AI contrast for the 4th. So this is 1-4. There's what AI thinks. There's what the operation of what I just showed you. So there's your weakening of the ridge and the low pressure. Um, this has a little bit more. The AI has more high pressure across the inner mountain with most of the dropping pressures staying across the west coast. So a bit of a difference, a little, little difference there. All right, eight day total precipitation as if everything was falling as rain. This, so this takes us through the fifth, essentially, of the new year. So what do I see? Well, initially we're waiting and then here comes the, uh, the precip by 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. And there's some heavy precip here in California. I mean, we're back to the reds again, which is two inches or more of liquid. And that does move moisture into the interior. Watch it right there. So it does hit the mountain ranges. Um, that's eight day total precip. This is 10 to one same time period through the fifth. Um, so let's start this over. What you see right here is happening sort of today, this morning today. And then all this new snow comes in late 31, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4 with uh, those two storm systems. And the Sierra, deep purple is at least six inches, bright pink is at least a foot, and the whites, that's about two feet or more. There's really only one area of white, and that's over the very highest Sierra. Everybody else is kind of in that six to 12 inch range. Um, let's change the vantage point. This is south, the southwest part of the country. Um, again, dry initially, and then what you see right here sweeping in, that's late 1231, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. And there's quite a bit of precip there. I mean, it looks like there's at least two inches over the high sea or maybe more right up here. So that would translate into heavy snow potential. In Colorado, all right, let me let this, let me restart this animation. So what you see right here, that, uh, that's basically this morning today. So then we have the two additional waves that come in right there and right there. Deep purple is at least six inches. If you were to see bright pinks on this, that'd be at least a foot. In some areas, you might get close to a foot. You can kind of see this is the 10 to 1 up there over um, the central and northern mountains. Let me show you what I'm forecasting. All right, so period one, today through the first. So some of this accumulation in Colorado and Utah does come in on the first. So we pick up one or two inches on the first, a little bit in Mammoth and a little bit up here into interior BC, quite a bit up at Alyeska. All right, that's period one. Here's period two. Now this accounts for both storm systems, two storm systems. Um, you've got potentially, what is this, 10 to 20 inches over the high Sierra. In the Wasatch, the biggest accumulation, six to 12 inches come Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. So Solitude, Brighton, Alta, Snowbird, six to 12 inches. In Colorado, it looks like a four to maybe 10 inch snowfall, one, two to one, five split up between two storm systems. So it doesn't all come at one time. Um, probably four to eight up here in the Tetons and uh, Idaho, a little bit less in Montana. And again, there's a little bit of mixing that's going on with some warmer air, at least partially during the period in BC. So probably three to eight inches up there. Quite a bit at Alaska again. So again, that's one, two through one, five. All right, let's look at the Northeast. All right, so a um, couple of different storm systems. Deep purple is at least six inches. Bright pinks would be a foot. Most of the snow is right in here and then off of Lake um, Erie and Lake Ontario, a little bit off Lake Michigan. So a little bit of lake effect right there. 
Here's what I'm forecasting. There is a little bit of rain snow mix on the 29th. So that may force some of the total accumulation down, especially at the base areas. But we might have 10 at Jay Peak and 10 at Mount Washington and Snow Ridge. Those would be the high points. Everybody else is kind of four to eight inches um, through most of the other ski areas. And, it's, and that could fluctuate plus or minus a couple of inches depending on the mixing that goes on on 1229. All right, guys, let's end on the big western map here. Again, that's period one, today through the first. And then here's period two, one, two through one, five. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.